Before the advent of Islam, the Arabian Peninsula was a mosaic of diverse religious beliefs and practices. Contrary to popular belief, it wasn't just a desert wasteland with isolated tribes, but a melting pot of cultures and religions. However, several other religions also found their way to Arabia through migration and trade. Christianity had a significant presence, especially in the northwestern regions, like Najran, where a Christian community thrived and even built churches. The Jewish diaspora, fleeing persecutions and seeking trade opportunities, established prominent settlements in places like Yathrib, later Medina, and Kabar. Zoroastrianism, the state religion of the Persian Empire, also influenced eastern parts of Arabia. Additionally, Manichaeism, an ancient syncretic religion, and Sabianism, with its star-worshipping followers, had adherents in the region. The Arabian Peninsula was, in many ways, a crossroads of civilizations, where ideas from the Roman, Byzantine, and Persian empires converged. This rich tapestry of religious beliefs set the stage for the emergence of Islam, which would later unify the region under its monotheistic banner. Nestorianism and the Ebionites played significant roles in shaping the religious landscape of pre-Islamic Arabia. Nestorianism, a Christian theological movement, emphasized the distinct natures of Christ's divinity and humanity. The Nestorians, often persecuted for their beliefs, was deemed heretical by the Council of Ephesus in 431 CE. Facing persecution, many Nestorians sought refuge in the Sasanian Empire where they established schools and communities. The Sasanian Empire, which bordered Arabia, became a haven for these Nestorians. They established churches and centers of learning in places like Mesopotamia and Persia. Their proximity to the Arabian Peninsula facilitated interactions with Arab tribes, leading to the spread of Nestorian thought in the region. Found refuge in the Persian Empire and its border regions, including parts of Arabia. Their presence in the region facilitated interfaith dialogues and exchanges. The Ebionites, on the other hand, were an early Jewish Christian sect that upheld the importance of Jewish law and viewed Jesus as a prophet rather than divine. Their beliefs bore similarities to some Islamic teachings, such as the oneness of God and the prophetic status of Jesus. As trade and communication flourished in Arabia, ideas from these groups intermingled with local beliefs. When Islam emerged in the 7th century, it incorporated elements from various religious traditions, including Nestorianism and Ebionitism, the emphasis on monotheism, the prophetic tradition, and certain theological perspectives in Islam can be traced back to influences from these groups, among others, their beliefs to the Arabian Peninsula. The decentralized nature of religious beliefs during this period combined with the extensive trade networks connecting the Roman and Persian empires with Arabia, might have allowed Ebionite thought to find its way to the region. Their emphasis on monotheism and the prophetic tradition bears similarities to Islamic teachings, suggesting a possible influence. Islam charges Christianity with distorting the pure monotheism of Abraham through the Trinity doctrine and icon veneration. The Ebionites, believed to be true to Jesus' original teachings, shared Islamic views on Jesus' humanity and rejected classic atonement theories. Hans Joachim Schopes notes that the Christianity Muhammad encountered was likely influenced by Ebionite and monophysite views. He suggests that while Jewish Christianity disappeared within the Christian church, its essence was preserved in Islam, culminating in Muhammad. The Ebionites existed, albeit marginally, until the 7th century. Some argue they survived longer, with references to them around the 11th century in northwestern Arabia. These communities might have influenced the Islamic view of Jesus, bridging the gap between early Jewish Christian beliefs and emerging Islamic doctrines. However, the religious and philosophical milieu of the 6th and 7th centuries in the Near East, enriched by the presence and influence of sects like the Nestorians and Ebionites, provided a fertile ground for cross-cultural and inter-religious interactions. Their journey to and presence in Arabia might have played a role in shaping the environment that witnessed the birth of Islam.